हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू इंस्पायरिंग माइंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर आश्रय खन्ना फाउंडर एंड सीईओ इंस्पायरिंग माइंड्स टुडे आई वांट टू टेल यू अबाउट द लेटेस्ट अपडेट बट आई वांट टू टेल यू बिफोर हैंड ओनली दैट डू टेक दिस वीडियो विद अ ग्रेन ऑफ सॉल्ट बिकॉज देर आर नो हाउ टू से देर इज नो रिलायबिलिटी और ऑथेंटिसिटी बिहाइंड इट but still the rumors are going on so we felt like that it is our responsibility to let you know and don't fall for any of those things for now so let's just wait and see how these things are going to proceed on and how can they actually affect you being a medical student in india so without wasting any time let's get started so yeah uh, i am going to tell you firstly about the chronology what all things are going to happen at what time and the next exam like next one and next two also about the subject wise distribution and the scores and then i am going to tell you about the permutation and combination as to uh, what how your results are going to affect the outcome in next one and in next two so yes firstly what used to happen till now was uh, after prof 1 there were just one university exams after prof 2 there were another university exams prof 3 and prof 4 used to have uh, exams in two two parts so now what is going to happen is the prof 3 second exam second part would be the common exam at common time for all the students like in january every year it is going to happen like that and the supplementary exams are going to happen in february and then the next part 1 would be in march and after that the internship is going to start in april and it is going to end by the next years march and then the next part 2 would be there and after that the post graduation the uh, neat pg or after next to the pg counseling would start by uh, june and the session is going to start by july so that is how it has been proposed by the uh, yesterday on 15th of uh, february there was a meeting as being told by the uh, rumors as far as we have got to know it was by the indian medical Assist- uh, association and also uh, there was medical students network there so they have released a pdf uh, i'm going to put the link of the pdf in the description down below so you can just go and check and do let us know if it is authentic or not but we are telling you what we have perceived from that and then let me tell you about the subject wise distribution so according to it it says the 120 items i guess they are questions would be from medical and allied subjects from surgery and allied subjects and from obs gyne and allied subjects so this part would be for 3 hours which would be pre lunch and the rest of the 60 questions would be from pediatrics ent and ophthalmology and that part would be post lunch and it would be of 1.5 hours so out of all these questions 60% would be problem solving and 30% would be comprehensive and analytical questions and 10% would be recall and in each of the subject 10% of the questions would be from the applied basic sciences and 10% from the preventive and social health so this was the basic structure as they have planned it to be and now what this circular says is the next exam part 1 would be commencing from january uh, would be commencing from 2022 so right now it's the 2020 and after 2 years they're going to start with it and how is it going to happen is as i already told you that next part one is mcqs and according to it it says that it is going to have 120 and 60 180 questions but next part 2 would be a pass or fail exam so now if it is a pass or fail exam so we cannot rely on that and secondly 
it would be a practical exam and what they want to test with that exam is the basic practical efficacy of a student if the student is ready to practice as a doctor then only they'll pass the student in next two like next part two so now i'm going to tell you how these results are gonna end up as uh, as the outcome so for example if someone passes next one with a good score then that score is going to help that student with the need pg counseling as well but if a student doesn't get a good score but he manages to pass so he would be allowed to start with his internship and then after the internship he would be uh, like eligible for next part 2 if he passes he would be eligible to practice as a doctor but the next scenario is if a student just manages to pass but he doesn't get a good score so he would be able to start on with his internship and later on after the internship in next part 2 if he doesn't like if he couldn't pass the next part 2 then he won't be allowed to practice as a doctor so this is the thing then he has to give next part 2 again and if someone doesn't if someone isn't able to pass next one then that student wouldn't even be allowed to start on with the internship so these all are the scenarios and again i'm going to tell you that these things are not yet confirmed so no need to feel sad or upset about it so let's just wait till we get a confirmation from the nbe and from the national medical commission and by the government also so this circular also says that the score of next one would be valid for 2 to 3 years secondly there would be a scope to improve your score in next one also because as i already told you the scores of next one would be helping you for the uh, pg counseling as well so that is why there is the provision that it is expected that they might help or they might allow the students to reappear in next one so this was it in a nutshell i am going to tell you what what all are these notifications or updates all about after passing the university final examination you have to pass next part 1 to start with your internship after your internship of 12 months you have to pass next part 2 as well to practice as a doctor okay so now we don't know how many parts of next are actually going to happen so again we have to wait till we get the confirmation and final updates and then only we can see if it is true or not and also the next one would be according to this would be licensing and competitive exam but next part 2 would just be licensing exam because that is just going to tell you if you have passed your clinical skills or not so if we have to tell you something we think like the indian structure is moving somewhere towards the western culture like the western system according to usmle and plab so they are making licensing exams so let's just wait and see how these things are going to affect all of us so till then if you have any update on this or if you think we have perceived something in the in some other way do let us know in the comment section down below please share this video with everyone so that they get to know that this is just a rumor as of now there is no substantial thing there is no authenticity behind it but still it is your duty as a medical student as a medico to help your peers as well so that was it for this video don't forget to like this video please subscribe to our channel and do share it with everyone see you in the next video thank you